There are disturbing reports out this morning about the situation in the North Pole. Scientists are saying that by this summer, there may be no ice on the North Pole at all, and that would be a first. Although the scientists also say there would be no significant short-term consequence to this, to not have ice in the North Pole year-round for the first time in history is symbolic of the growing threat of global warming. I'm joined now by former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, who's in Tokyo tackling global warming with world leaders. Good morning to you, Mr. Blair. Good morning. There's a report out this morning that the North Pole may be briefly ice-free by September. Can I get your take on that? I think it just demonstrates how necessary it is to take action on climate change, how urgent it is that we get a, a global comprehensive deal, one that has America on the one side, China and um, other developing countries on the other side in it, and that we take action that is realistic for sure, but radical enough to, to stop the climate changing and prevent further damage to the environment. This is obviously important to you. Why didn't we hear you talk more about it when you were prime minister, when you had the ear of our Republican president? I am truly sorry. Uh, I did, about actually. I mean, the, the, the reason why this process um, is, is happening here in Japan is because when I was in office and was the uh, president of the G8 for that year of 2005, we actually put climate change on the agenda and for the first time established a forum in which not just America and the European countries and Japan uh, could talk about climate change, but also China and India and Brazil and South Africa, Mexico. So it's really arising out of that initiative then that we're, we're, we're seeing the meeting today. And, you know, you're right in saying it's tough to take action. Um, and we've got to make sure that action's realistic. You know, we don't want to damage our economy. But I think all the evidence is that if we start to take these measures, actually the environment and the technology associated with it uh, in cleaner technology actually provides jobs and provides a boost to the economy. Here in the United States, which of our two presidential candidates, uh, Senator Obama or Senator McCain, do you think is better equipped to take action on climate change? Well, first of all, I'm not getting into your uh, presidential campaign. That's a matter for America, not for me. But actually, both of the candidates have got a strong record on this issue. And I actually believe it's possible this year, this administration will also agree to a global target. So um, I think that the mood in America has shifted. Uh, dramatically um, over the last few years. I think people now understand there is a problem, uh, that the challenge is serious. But, you know, as you say, the question is how to get the solution in place. And that requires a lot of painstaking and difficult and complex technical work as well as political will. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, thank you for taking the time this morning. Thank you.